Okay, we started this morning with a lot of cloud cover. The clouds slow to leave. That helped us out because that makes the warm up a little slow to happen. So I know after a couple of days in the upper 90s, we're going to be in the low 90s today. We might even cool down a little bit before the afternoon is over. You can see there's plenty of cloud cover still around. Today's forecast, yeah, we peak into the low 90s. But I think that's early in the afternoon because later in the afternoon, enough cloud cover and maybe a little bit of rain over the sensor sites to drop the temperatures down a little bit. We keep that rain chance 20, 30 percent. We have a brisk wind today, and normally just that alone will keep temperatures down a little bit as long as it's out of the south, southeast. When it turns to the southwest, it raises temperatures. We'll talk about that at some later time. It's just drier air coming in from the southwest. Now, here's a little bit of rain. It's mostly very light rain, most of it not even hitting the surface, but it is cooling things down. Look at the temperatures. Here we are in the Metroplex near 90 or right at 90 in Denton. You go down to Stephenville, you're at 82 degrees. Comanche's at 78 right now. We barely got that low for a morning low, but there our temperatures are cooler because of the cloud cover and the little bit of light rain going on. Now, it's also dropping the dew points a little bit, and to explain that real quick, uh, there is circulation going on in the atmosphere, even with light rain, and it's bringing in some drier air that's at the mid-level. So you see these dew points, that dry air reach the surface, and they drop a little bit, a little bit more comfortable. Actually, there's a big difference between a dew point in the upper 60s and mid-70s. You will certainly notice that. So this is nicer weather, and that's why I think the temperature might drop a little bit as we get in the afternoon. It gets into the Metroplex. Okay, a couple of things to improve our rain chances. They're a little hard to make. Now, what you're looking at is water vapor. So we use this to kind of see maybe a little circulation here and a little disturbance here. You can barely make it out, but between the two of them, that's going to give us rain chances. So we see this little rain going on right now. I'm going to change over to one of our short-range forecast models. It's called the HRR. And though it overplays it a little bit, as you can see, you can see it also brings it into the Metroplex. There's a few thunderstorms in the mix as we get into the daytime heating. This will die down as we get into the evening hours. We have a marginal risk of some of these thunderstorms getting strong enough to produce like damaging winds and hail, but it's a marginal risk today. There's a better chance for stronger thunderstorms actually tonight, and it's coming from a system that will be in Oklahoma this afternoon. So here we are, temperature still in the 80s at 9 o'clock, and you see a few thunderstorms around. This is a possibility. We're going to a 40% chance of thunderstorms overnight. You can see in the evening hours, overnight hours, we see these thunderstorms racing across. But I'm still thinking that Sunday, even though we got a few thunderstorms on Sunday, it's Sunday night and Monday is our best storm chance. And I'll show you that in the next full forecast coming up in 30 minutes. But we got temperatures in the 80s for highs Monday and Tuesday. Not too bad for the first full week of summer. Low 80s and um, upper 80s and low 90s. Rain chances finally start to taper off as we get towards the end of the work week.